Mr. Matthew, we're glad you're here. Uh, why don't you uh, talk a little bit about the film? Uh, yes, um, Beyond Fear is about a, a young man who uh, is going to camp, uh, and um, on the way he gets he gets lost, and he begins to panic, and realizes that he has to perform his own survival techniques, uh, and it, it will bring him and it brings him uh, to his prim prim primitive instincts uh, to get out of there and to get out to stay alive and survive. And, um, and in the end, he does he does make it out. Um, but it's it's not about how he gets out. It's it's not it's not about him uh, getting out, but it's more about how he gets out. He he. You know, he changes. He, his whole mentality changes during that that few days of, of just being trapped and, and self-centered. And he, he began to realize that his family becomes really close to him, and that's what drives him to to get out. And I believe that family is is, is very important in, in everybody's life, and that you know, in order to to succeed. Uh, you know, support from your family and the love will, will get you through. Thank you so much, Matthew. And uh, let's uh, and uh, talk about writing the script. Uh, yeah, <laughs> writing the script. Um, well, it, it did seem a lot better than uh, I expected in in the beginning. Uh, when I wrote it, it, it sounded so good, but this film isn't about the, the writing, and it's not about the the context of, of the, the piece. It's it's more about showing people what happens in that situation, and I think it's more of a visual than, than taking it in and feeling the emotional um, the feelings. And, at first, uh, the the script was was good, and I I kept I kept re going I kept going back at it and 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 going over it as much as possible and trying to figure out you know something that that didn't seem right in the scene or I, I'd make minor adjustments here and there, but when it came to actual filming, it it didn't matter because the writing wasn't what it what wasn't what the movie brought to it was. The emotional feeling of in that situation, and that fear that that comes into your mind when you, when you're lost and you're trapped and you're all alone and nobody knows where you are, and you can't get out. And I think that uh, that visual and that emotional effect uh, overpowered any uh, type of writing piece that that uh, I, I ever wrote. What about the difficulty about the film? Was it difficult to film? Uh, yeah, um, you know, it, 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 at first it was pretty easy, you know. I went out there and I just, I did my thing. I, I started filming scene by scene and then it started getting more complicated and, and difficult because I wanted different scene angles and I wanted it just to, to work, you know. I wanted to have that wow factor and have everybody, you know, cheering my name at the end. And it, it, I, I came to a quick realization that it wasn't, what I really wanted in the end it was I had to make some uh, adjustments to the tripod many times and it got difficult along the way and uh, you know I just I kept at it and I just took it day by day you know and I just kept going out there uh, carrying all the camera gear through the forest was uh, definitely a challenge um, very heavy gear and I had to go quite a bit in the forest to to uh, get to my spot um, and I also had to ride my bike there, I couldn't drive at the time. Doing the driving scene actually, I just kind of uh, let the car in the driveway and put a green screen over it and uh, just kind of put the, the layered uh, driving scene into uh, the windows. Um, but uh, overall, you know, filming wasn't as bad as I thought it was, but it did get more difficult along the way. Uh, as I got more picky, and I, I became more experienced with every time I went out there, so I, I, I knew what I was looking for, and I, I knew what angle I needed to, to achieve, and 
I, I tried my best, you know, I, I, I did my best. How did you create this film? Well, um, I went out, I went out there on my own and uh, I just kind of shot it day by day. Just took my tripod and uh, I just kind of got a different angle here, a different angle there and just piece it together. Editing was, was pretty brutal. Uh, my computer is not the fastest so it, it did uh, slow me down a little bit and it got me discouraged but you know, I just kept taking it day by day and I just I kept looking forward to the future and seeing that positive uh, note of everybody just smiling and, and you know cheering and I know it's not a reality but I want it to become a reality so I want to work towards that and I set a goal for myself and I, I think that's what just kind of helped me get through it and uh, I just I just kept going at it and I never gave up and I think that that's a good message for life you know when life gets you down just never give up just keep going Wow, amazing. And uh, we have one more question for you, Matthew, before we leave on the show. Uh, were you really alone out there when you were filming this? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, a lot of people uh, ask me this, uh, and the truth is, is I was alone out there by myself. And so when I'm actually filming, you know, sometimes I want someone to be there to to get a different angle shot and so I don't have to work as hard and other times it's just like I, I'd rather be alone because I really get inside the character's head and I really put myself inside the character's shoes and I, I, I feel the character's emotions and I, I really try and act out as best as I possibly can what the character is doing so when you know the, the, when, so when the character is acting I'm, I'm trying to portray as best as I can you know, what the character would be doing in the film. It got scary at times, it did. You know, being out there late at night, you know, and I, I purposely kind of um, put myself in situations where it would actually hurt me, so I'd, I'd, I'd act better and I'd feel it. And like, for instance, the pond scene, I uh, actually drank that water and uh, it wasn't too pretty afterwards, um, but uh, I, I I did uh, I did drink it and I purposely came there without water so that I'd become thirsty and I'd actually act that out, you know, for real and it'd feel like I'm actually in a situation. I I think putting put as an actor putting yourself in in the character's position is really the best way to to act out the the part. I'm here with Matthew Lupino, and for all of you out there, please check out his new film, Beyond Fear, which will premiere on October 14th, 2011. Thank you, Matthew, and I'm Dean with your Detroit News.